So back in that first video, I said I would do a video of how to put vents in place once I'd done those. And you can see here, I've got a vent up in the corner of this bedroom. And in that first video, I was showing how to put this ducting in place. And I put the ducting through the floor here, and that met with the ceiling of the lounge below. And this video is going to show putting in the vent in the ceiling of that lounge below. So this is cutting out a hole for the vent to go in. Just making a circle around there and then we'll push it out. And here's the vent just going into the hole now, I've just made. And then I'll put the tube on the end of that. Here's the end of the vent going on to the end of this ducting. It fits in quite snugly like that. Now just pull it up. And there it is in place, and you can see up there, the ducting going into it. And now I just fit the top on. And it's done. So here's the tube coming out of the kitchen, the bottom of the bath, and that'll be taken up there to the MVHR. And here's the vent in the kitchen, and that's the vent in place. Let's put this on, that's finished. So that shows how easy it was to put those vents in place. And it's also very cheap as well because those vents just come from Screwfix. They were about seven pounds each, it's about $10. And they just fit directly onto that 90 millimeter ducting. So they don't need any special attachments and that makes it really simple. Next, I'll show how to fit that ducting to a 90 degree bend, which is important in the loft up above here because this comes out vertically and you then want it to go to a 90 degree turn in order to get to the ducting that lays flat across the floor of the loft above. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video and that's fortunately very easy and very cheap as well.